a proper book of accounts right so exactly. in the data cleaning process you can actually show that you know uh, this is what they have purchased but the bills are there for these so i have only uh, included those data where okay. everything is available you get the point so when you are actually let us say you have collected the data for a period of one month now okay. one month or two months whatever it is now you are going to only include those data points where you have certain information now that is called data cleaning so you have okay. collected data for one month period which you have kind of noted uh, you have noted out in an excel sheet but when yes. you are analyzing you have to analyze only when everything is available to you right so you tend uh, tend to remove those redundant points or outliers wherever there are issues and then you can just highlight those areas and say why you have removed it analysis how you have to do uh, first prepare an excel sheet and then you can share with me uh, because okay. unless and until we don't see an excel it is difficult to tell but to answer your queries week 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this is how you have to look at it i mean whatever they have done try to do something similar or try to go above or beyond that something sir is there like any that. mail id sir where i already collected and added it to excel okay but i'm not done any analysis such so i can share yeah, it so uh, my my first uh, thing is that uh, first you think of what analysis you want to do correct okay Uh, okay. think of what analysis you want to do because 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 mm-hmm. before i suggest if you can think of some analysis and just send it to me then i can i'll be able to tell you because if i tell you now it is more of like you doing whatever i'm saying but if ideas okay. come from you i can refine on that so it is ashwin at online degree dot iitm dot ac dot in okay thank you okay so you can send it there um uh, or you can even post it on the i mean discourse if you don't want to post it you can send it to me and okay. uh, there w- uh, we will be answering uh, the queries we have received lots of emails so there was one email by aditi where she had requested uh, for an extension in dates and that we are going to grant so we are uh, shifting the deadline not to 22nd but we'll shift it to 25th to ensure that everybody i hope this is okay now the new deadline will be 25th of march so keep things ready by 25th of march please don't delay post that because then it is going to be a problem okay so you are asked people had asked for one two days extension so we are extending it now the fresh deadline is 25th of march please keep everything ready by 25th of march you have ample time now it is almost like you have 28 29 days um, so that is something which you can do any other questions any other questions please feel free to ask because we still have final sir uh, yeah this yeah. again test here yeah yeah sir that's what there are some things like example like for oil when the mm. when in local shop when they purchasing oil they have complete uh, five or six types of oil like sunflower oil then palm oil everything okay so what they do is they don't generally take it as like okay they are this selling sunflower oil of so and so quantities and all but okay. i do ask them like what is the maximum you sell so based on that i calculated the is based on its revenue i have divided okay. it on probability wise like okay you might sell 30% of sun pure is that okay <laughs> yeah that is fine see whenever you are doing an analysis from an unorganized sector all these challenges will be there so you can say that since it is uh, not everything is available but since they have indicated to us that sunflower oil is something which is going higher this is what i have done. and this is as per uh, uh, my uh, uh, assumptions which i have done so that is always fine thank you thank you so uh, uh, at what time did this meet start the meet just started 2 minutes back so no problem the calendar is right 8 to 9 we just started it at uh, 752 yes any other questions uh, pulkit you would have to mute yourself yeah any any questions please feel free to ask so today the first 30 minutes we will dedicate uh, uh, first 30 minutes we will dedicate for assignment 3 and the remaining 30 minutes we would dedicate for the capstone project okay so um, that is it so if there are any questions we will be answering it so i'm waiting for hari so uh, until that 3 minutes you have anything on the capstone uh, so we can uh, do that and i'll be taking questions i have received a lot of questions on email which we would be answering today any other questions on the capstone project yeah i, I actually had one question so i had contacted one of my like uh, it's a small electrical shop that deals in about some uh, four five varieties of mobile head uh, accessories and mobile repairing mainly okay and they say that like mobile their main source of the business is the mobile repair because they get it done like quite early and it's mm-hmm. better compared to so how do i like keep a tab on that because there can't be a fixed quantity for like mobile repairs and everything yeah so and you like can actually uh, uh, what you can actually do is that uh, 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 split it into two things so this mobile shop deals with accessories and uh, services 
so mobile repair comes under service right accessories is product sale now you can show that product sale what is that they are realizing from service what is that realizing now service is something which is very uh, kind of interesting because uh, price comparison would be there are customers happy with that or how much time do they take what kind of mobiles should they repair what is the average pricing what is the number of days all these information i think we'll be getting that would make an exciting uh, analysis so this my question is that like how would i exactly tabulate it in the excel sheet like in what uh, so you will have to you will have to ask them more questions so if they, if they are saying that yes we are providing services so you can just ask them like you know uh, how much uh, what is the time taken to repair what kind of repairs are there what is the cost of the repair and uh, uh, all that uh, what kind of mobiles do they repair how what is how old it is all these information you would be anyways having right um so that kind of that is something which you can tabulate once you tabulate all that you will uh, kind of uh, i mean you tabulate and send that excel to me then i mean uh, tell me what kind of uh, analysis you want to do then i'll be able to suggest you more okay thank you okay so hari has also joined and uh, so we will start uh, with uh, the questions which we have received so hari some questions were received on mail so uh, uh, i will take those first is that fine so there was one question by vidushi talwar where she says that she had a doubt in the sixth question of the assignment according to our calculations there is a dip in the unit margin of gear assembly 1 and 2 only but i cannot find the appropriate options in the question uh i have calculated unit margin percentage using the formula price minus overall product cost divided by price into 100 i have been assigned set 7 could you please guide me just a minute let me open uh, the set yes so it is set number 7 and according to our calculation there is a dip in the unit margin of gear assembly 1 and 2 only but she is not able to find appropriate options for that so yes. uh, also feel free to use the chat box option so that even if there are capstone questions also you can put it so that we can do it parallelly and maximize the uh, uh, interactions so um, hari sir one just one thing uh, could you please adjust your mic it's a little faint right now your voice Yeah, can you hear me now? Is that okay? Am I yeah. audible? Yeah, better, better now. Yeah. Yes, better now. Great. <laughs> Hold on, I'm I'm opening the uh, sheet. All right. Yes. so those who have joined now the capstone project deadline we are extending it by 5 days because some of them said that there is a clash so instead of march 20th the final deadline would be march 25th so uh, uh, we would not be able to extend beyond that so you have asked for 2 days we are giving you 3 more days so uh, i hope uh, i mean you will be able to work now so any idea when the viva will be uh, that would be communicated to you but please keep your things by march 25th uh please keep your things ready by march 25th because viva would be over a one week time period and you get the flexibility to choose the slot that you want okay so uh, it is based on that so it will all be communicated at least a week in advance and if i finish my project earlier then can i no, mail it no you will not be able to um, do it because it has to be done at the same time okay okay sir i yeah, got a schedule uh, like 19th march uh, opp for bdm what does it have opp prior to proctored exam for uh, bdm schedule oh, that I will be ha huh, that will be related to assignment 2 and assignment 3 which we are given in bdm that thing yeah uh, is that a practical exam kind of thing not the viva right yes no, it's not the viva it's, it's like an exam it's like an exam, it's like an exam. Uh -huh, okay thank you okay yes sir uh, yeah. uh, so for questions will be there on 13th march for bdm subject pardon so if the exam of the bdm right uh, like hmm. assignment 2 and assignment 3 it is on 19th or uh, i think 20th march right proctored exam so what is uh, what type of questions will be there on 13th march or 13th march will only be one subject No, thirteenth March. I believe we Third. have the quiz two. Like yes. quiz one, we have the quiz two. The same exactly. syllabus of week one to four. 
yes okay so 13th march will be considering the theoretical question 1 to 4 and on 20th march there will be practical exam kind of the yeah, calculation uh, and the excel we will use this uh, to discuss the assignment 3 and capstone this we can perhaps take it on the discourse because we have limitations of time uh, okay. so i'm sorry but we we'll have to yeah hurry uh, please go with yeah. the see uh, when we say unit uh, uh, that six question as i said uh, there are three gear assemblies i'm not going to tell which of them but the answer is correct i mean there is an option so i hope this answer vidushi i hope this answers your question so um, um, so there is an answer that i can give you one clue you will have to okay. look at percentage rather than the absolute number that's the clue i can give i cannot give tell thing tell anything more about that all right and uh, by the way uh, uh, i'm sorry that uh, the question number 2 uh, of the assignments where uh, there is some sort of a problem with respect to unit i mean in some questions we have asked margin percentage and there is some production error where we have asked gross margin percentage in some of the sets okay so we decided and now it is quite uh, late and also there is another problem where uh, we can uh, we, we have made a goof up of uh, 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 comparing the unit margin with the entire total cost where we should not have that okay so that question we are not going to uh, i mean evaluate for the assignments anybody who attempts that question will get 10 points um so that okay. is about uh, the uh, question about, number two. that's about the question number 2 there's a error in the question so we are taking that question off if anybody who attempts that question will get 10 points all right yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh one more uh, one more uh, request is that uh, uh, on the discourse which i always also mentioned in the discourse forum as well that if the uh, errors can happen we we take uh, due care when we prepare questions but you know errors can happen uh, from our end as well but if there is any issue please feel free to write to us but i also maintain a request you to maintain the decorum on discourse because you know if derogatory language is used i think uh, that is not the right thing and uh, i would request you to refrain from using such language and in case if uh, you know people do that uh, we would not be answering it and then uh, um, it will also be flagged so it's only a request we we, we are always feel uh, you know we are always free to take feedback mistakes do happen and at times you know uh, how much ever care we take sometimes it does happen so uh, uh, please feel free to write to us but kindly refrain from using uh, derogatory language on the discourse forum so uh, we have indicated this and uh, henceforth if this continues then uh, we would not be answering the questions uh, on the discourse so that's it yeah hari next one any questions on assignment 3 uh, at answer, this stage same set question I number 4 sir uh, same seventh set uh, actually i i was able to figure out the answer for that thing sir i had no issues in the question number 6 uh, but same set in question number 4 there is actually an another maximum value and uh, there is also a maximum among the four options given um so i don't know which one to figure it out sorry sorry can you please come come again ah uh, yes sir question number 4 in the same seventh set which period saw okay. maximum sales of combination gear assemblies yes uh, okay yes uh, there are four options sir yes but mm. uh, on the actual analysis i got uh, another uh, option so the four okay. options has the second best one sir i i believe they yeah, are yeah, given you, maximum yeah 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 great see 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 the point is there you may not have the uh, uh, the maximum value there but of the four there is going to be something maximum there you got it ah yes that option i should show correct yeah, sir correct yes not the exact maximum we yes, have yes. in the yeah 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 it will not be there in some cases because we want to see uh there are 880 students taking this we have to show some variety in the questions and the show some variety in the answers no so these are some of the ways in which we will be able to filter out the questions so that we ensure that people don't copy you are getting yeah. my point that's why yeah. sometimes you uh, you get answers so you can anyway either way choose uh, from the four options isn't it okay so thank the, you sir thank yeah. you yeah uh, hari there is a question by rakesh he says mm -hmm. that in question number 1 what mm -hmm. is the jump in revenue 
is it just increase in revenue or percentage increase sorry revenue it is okay. revenue only it is revenue revenue okay yes. uh, so rakesh the answer is revenue increase in revenue hello sir okay. sorry am i audible yes yes uh, sorry, sorry uh, one one minute one minute sorry 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 one minute uh, i mean can can you come uh, come back uh, you know are you talking about question number 1 please are you talking about question number 1 yes sir yes sir okay okay so it's the revenue per jump is, uh, it's like percentage jump okay okay sir thank it's you it's a percentage jump sorry yes it's a percentage jump please make this note it's percentage jump sir i have a question in question number 9 of the same uh, same uh, this thing uh, set set is different my set is 5 sir okay one minute sir uh, uh. yeah it is the inventory turnover ratio question okay yeah 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 yes so sir sir the uh, denominator in this the ratio is between uh, in the denominator there is an inventory annual average inventory being uh, needed hmm. to be calculated so that inventory is the number of units or it's the inventory value it's the inventory value it's the inventory value so i need to multiply the units uh, number of units mm. with the cost unit the cogs right uh see yeah that is fair uh, uh, i mean you're talking about ninth question no just a minute yeah Let's yes sir that question okay so usually what happens is you will have to multiply the inventory okay into the cost of goods sold here yeah. we have asked you to multiply that with the quantity produced all right yeah yeah huh? cogs uh, i mean sorry inventory value no uh, yeah inventory, yes uh, one minute uh, it's the sorry, annual sorry. average inventory one minute sorry 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 yeah. one minute let me let me have a look at it uh, inventory value some of quantity produced then i have to go to set five set five no you're talking about yes sir yes sir okay uh, okay yeah inventory value is first calculated using uh, the balance inventory into the cost of goods sold yes correct correct yes uh, so the balance inventory i take it for uh, the 12 months and then divided by 12 right sir mm, yeah the... so for example we have asked you to calculate for the month of uh, for the year 2019 20 correct yeah yes sir okay so for the balance inventory for each of the month april may june july august will be there correct okay yeah so you multiply that value yeah uh, uh multiply that quantity into the uh, cost cost cogs yeah. you yeah. will actually get the inventory value okay yes. then you divide it by 12 you get the 12. average inventory okay yes. okay got okay. it sir yeah. yeah yeah thank you sir Yeah. Good evening, yeah, sir. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, sir. Uh, I want to ask my doubt about Capstone project. Uh, I am analyzing uh, data of of one of my fr uh, friends shop, mm -hmm. but uh, they don't don't maintain return record. So I ask them for uh, mm -hmm. do record for one month. So they are starting uh, writing records. But uh, I uh, I am asking that I I am collecting the bills of uh, two or three years back from there. Means uh, the data of two three years only bills. which are of uh, the buying stock of them can i uh, also uh, analyze on their stocks means uh, purchasing uh, on purchasing bills also uh, i'm not uh, clear with what you have said domesh could you please repeat it again yeah yes uh, sir uh, i am uh, analyzing on my friend shop uh, it is okay. government shop uh, okay. they uh, don't buy uh, things frequently they uh, they buy in Uh, about uh, three or four month interval, okay. so uh, and they don't maintain any uh, return entry for that, but they okay. have bills for that. So, okay. uh, I was thinking about to collect the bills from uh, them uh, about of three or four years data, then analyze on that because yeah, they that don't. Yeah. yeah, that is fine. absolutely fine. You can use those bills, uh, make uh, create an Excel sheet, and then you can yeah. just go ahead with that. So that is absolutely fine. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So thank yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So the next question is by Darshan. I think he put it in the chat box. Yeah. So Darshan, uh, go next. Uh, hello, sir. Am I audible? Yes, you are. All right. Uh, so I'm actually uh, working with a small electronics manufacturing company. Okay. So uh, the thing is that uh, they are actually working on a new product that uh, they want to introduce in the market this summer. Okay. Uh, so 
uh, right now they have you know a, a certain amount of resources that they use mm-hmm. for producing uh, different they have a catalog of about 35 40 products but uh, you know uh, they produce them in small quantities or such so uh, i need to i'm working on resource planning for them so you know how to adjust that mm. uh, particular new product into their current you know resources and plan ahead so is that mm. okay like uh, is that particular yeah that is absolutely fine and you can always say that how to make the right use of resources and how much allocation yeah. is needed that's a good project yeah you can go ahead it's a good project but what kind of analysis are you going to do on that Right. Uh, so uh, again, uh, they have a certain amount of uh, humor because uh, it's an electronics, uh, uh, you know, uh, they build electronic products, IoT products. So, you know, uh, it is more about uh, the people who are assembling those devices rather than, you know, some machines who are actually manufacturing them. They buy ICs, they buy, you know, all kinds of uh, smaller capacitors and all those things. And, uh, you know, they put it together depending on, you know, what uh, their product looks like and, you know, what the design is mm. so it, it has to do a lot with people and also currently there is a lot of chip shortage in the global market mm. so they have to work with those kind of things also mm. you know uh, procuring the you know this thing procuring chips and all those things yeah very good uh, uh, i mean i'm sorry i, uh, I don't get your name Vahela darshan sanjay uh, right? so it's uh, darshan yeah uh, so yeah darshan yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, that looks good, but uh, be a little clear about the uh, analysis that you wanted to do. Okay, yeah. so for example, right. you wanted to see if the uh, number of people who are doing this is sufficient or not, or should you right. increase the efficiency of the people who are working in right. this, or should you do something uh, so, with uh, respect to uh, efficiency yeah. in procurement? Okay, right. so take that research problem very, very clearly. If the research problem is clear, you will know what data to collect. And with that data, you will be able to analyze that. Uh, 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 analyze with common sense. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So what, uh, one thing which uh, I was going to do was, uh, you know, uh, take that uh, their product portfolio and, you know, mm-hmm. uh, plot uh, a scatter plot, you know, uh, revenues to volume and, you know, try to understand which were, uh, which were the products they can drop you know, the redundant mm-hmm. ones that mm-hmm. don't make a lot of money yet, you know, they have to allocate research to, you know, those kinds of mm. things. So, you know, uh, try to figure out the things that they have to, you know, they can drop in order to uh, add a new product, you know, those kinds of things. So I'll uh, I'll be using historical data from, uh, you know, past two, three years or something like that. So is that, uh, you know, uh, is, uh, can, can that be inculcated into uh, my uh, resource planning? Mm. Yeah, uh, looks like you can do that. Okay. Uh, but I mean, <laughs> unless we see the data, we will not be able to comment on yeah, it. Yeah, you can do one thing, Darshan. Uh, Once you, you prepare something, you can just mail it to me. I just have mm-hmm. a look and uh, tell you whether it is fine. I that I yeah. think that it's fine, right? So you can just send yeah. an email to yes, me. Yes, yes, absolutely. Let me have a look at it and then I'll be able to tell you. Okay, okay. 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 Uh, the yeah. next uh, question, Hari, is from the chat box, which I'm taking. We'll answer everybody. Uh, uh, so uh, it is by Shiv Kumar where he says, what should I submit on 20th March? So the ship, the, uh, it is not on 20th March. Now it is 25th. You have to keep everything ready. Not only the raw data, you have to have mm-hmm. the entire project ready. And uh, Hari's question is, I'm collecting data from wholesaler of salts, but by mm-hmm. putting one month data, I see profit day wise or date wise is almost the same or flat graph for the same product. Obviously it will be the same, uh, this thing, but in the brackets, you write for different graphs for different products. What should be my question towards data when these type of constant profit occurs, although there is higher revenue and volume than January month, 2022. That's what he says. Uh, okay. So, but what the, what is the problem that you want to solve? Again, the, my, my, my question goes to the basic. What is the problem you want to solve there? Uh, who asked this question, by the way? Sorry. Uh, so, you can unmute yourself and ask. So this was asked by uh, Shiv Kumar. So if you can unmute Kumar, yourself. Shiv, and, uh, can you, yeah. Can you please uh, come on mic and then elaborate your question, please? Okay, Shiv, Shiv you're there. Mm. Okay, he's not there. So we'll go to the yeah. next question by Arko mm. Das. Uh, mm. Sir, in Q7, uh, mm. Question set uh, Q7. While calculating inventory, I'm getting negative values. Mm. I'm using the formula provided. Uh, my data set is nine. Yeah, what should it I do? indicate stock out? Okay. 
so hope uh, we have answered that and next question is by akanksha uh, mm-hmm. akanksha if you can unmute yourself and ask uh yeah actually i had a question about the data collection mm-hmm. so can i collect my client's website data what is the problem what is the problem no, that no, you need to solve problem in the sense just uh, he wants sales uh, insights like which is the uh, which, which is, is the product that is uh, most selling least selling and things like that okay fine you want insight about sales is the yeah, insight like, about sale or the sales value is obtained from the website can you get that from the website sorry you you are talking about sales insight isn't it which yes, product is yes. being sold more which product is being sold less what is the profit margin of each of the project and all those things correct yeah like that's do, what do, he wants do you get that I... do you get that data from the website you are talking about no 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 i i'll just get the data like the which product is getting sold on which date and uh, just the basic data and mm-hmm. the client is interested in getting the insight so can i use that no insight from what is a question from i mean i'm not clearly data. understanding from okay. the website what data. what will you get collect from website like which product is getting sold on which, which date and time that? which website is that is it the company's website that no, you are no, going no. to work on uh. no it's my client's website the website i built website you built okay yeah like that i'm a website... software developer so i worked okay. on that website and that oh. client is ready to provide the data okay in, in return he wants this the sales insights okay so that website uh, collects data from where, where does it collect the data from where in the sense uh, what is that website about is it an e-commerce website yeah e-commerce website okay yes you can do that okay 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 yeah. thank you yeah the next question is by arushi uh, jain mm. you can yeah. unmute yourself and ask and if you have completed asking your question please lower your hand please so lower your hand please yes yeah it would be easy for us to track Hmm. Yeah. Uh, so good evening. Uh, yes, sir. Am I audible? Yes. Yes, yes you are audible. Yes. yes. Okay, sir. Good evening, sir. So I want to know that uh, I I've been collecting data. My dad is in sales, and he works in a company named Parak Agro. So the company did really well in the last year, but the, this year the company is not uh, making any pro any uh, significant profit in the North India. right so uh, but the company sells like 8 to 10, 9 products only so can i collect data which uh, of that company as it sells only uh, sells only 8 to 9 products but like if they are selling um, uh, aata suppose or semolina so they are of different types like wheat uh, or suji semolina and other uh, other things so one product but of different um, uh basic uh, ingredient so can i collect that and uh, make uh, my project on that arushi again what is the research question sir i would uh, i would basically show that why the company is not making profit now but it did uh, in the previous year okay. so now, what would be okay, possible okay okay one minute one minute oh, let's go one at a time let's go one at a time okay now that you wanted to solve why the company is not making profit on certain products certain of its product which it is selling correct yes sir okay now what what data you want to find that out uh so basically the uh, what company se- uh, sold in the last year and uh, what products are not making profits uh, suppose they were selling uh, uh, what i observed from the data is that they were selling semolina but uh, uh, semolina last year and it was launched last year basically and they sold quite a significant amount and made good profit out of it but mm-hmm. this year the uh, the product went down and they didn't make as much profit as they made last year is it product sales went down or is the profit went down so sales product sales went down product sales went down so then it's a problem of sales not a problem of profit you're getting my point or it yeah. could be combination yeah. of both sales and profit i'm not sure about that though yeah and okay. hari one more thing to add is that this product mm-hmm. was launched last year Hmm. and people have bought it so uh, hmm. one one more point would be to look at the product feedback do customers really like it 
I mean, what is the reason as to why people are not buying it again? You might have to even look at that. Correct? Why was that? Why is that something which was bought last year and it is not bought now? Something might be there from the competitors as well at a lower pricing. That could also be one of the reason, or maybe customers don't like it anymore. That could be another reason. There could be several reasons for that. Uh, yes, sir. So uh, what I observed from the reason I talked to my dad about it. So he said that uh, people were like uh, there were some reasons which I observed. Like they, they it wasn't cooking too fast. They were uh, like uh, there were some problems about that. So so okay. that uh, that's why the profit or yeah. the sale. Now, now, now. So now what the what the company has to do next? So if they have to sell it. So they, I mean, yes, they'll sir. have to rework on this particular feedback, right? Yeah, I think hmm. you can. Now, this, this is, is a very good thing. insight. Yeah, this yes, is a very, good, is a very insight. good insight. Now, you'll have to tell as to that Samulana is taking such a long time to cook. So, you yeah. reduce, try to reduce that. So, it becomes, it goes as a feedback to the company. Correct. The company. So, it's a good yes, insight. Sir. Yes, it's a good insight. Okay, yeah. try and to do for other products. Sorry. Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. So also, there weren't enough marketing strategy which company was uh, investing on. Like they weren't investing enough in the marketing and all. That's why also the company product uh, sales went down. That's also I what I observed. But the real question which I wanted to know is that the company is only uh, dealing with eight to nine products. But in the video which was uh, given, uh, which was given to us on the portal, said uh, that we have to take around fifteen to twenty. products uh, okay. so so what can no, i do no, no. there is nothing nothing as such you can take these 8 to 9 products that is absolutely that, that fine that is fine so that itself yeah. is uh, a big number to for you to work yeah. with uh, arushi yeah. okay that yeah. should be fine okay. Okay. Yeah. and also so, uh, if the company is selling one product uh, but of with different basic ingredients like uh, noodles if if the one if the company is selling noodles then the com- uh, then there is wheat noodles and uh, maida noodles and other noodles then can i take the those noodles uh, matlab as a my product or different products or uh, or i have to include it in the sub products of that uh i would suggest you take it as separate product if the volumes are mm-hmm. high okay Because, for example uh, if the wheat wheat noodles is sold 10000 units and uh, uh, maida noodles is sold some 15000 units you can take it as separate products with all put together it's only 2000 units then you can call it as noodles alone you get mm-hmm. my point so that way then yes, you think sir. about it so what ways uh, uh, if that works and, and all those things so you'll have to understand the uh, nitty gritties of the uh, the market also there how it works it's, if it's a wholesale market okay. the way in which it works is different if it's a retail market it will work in a different way okay okay uh, okay so yeah. yeah. and arushi to answer your point uh, this thing you know uh, in sectors like this uh, marketing kind of may not matter because this is a kind of commodity which is available and there is not much of differentiation between the products so recently uh, there is something called a satvik foods uh, i was just having a look at it it is by a women entrepreneur called jamuna mahajan where she tried to sell different tea masalas and stuff like that and uh, she also used to put on linkedin that you know our products are good our products are unique but we are not getting enough sales and then she tried something else uh, she started pitching it better she try she tried reaching the right customers she took the customer feedback she spoke to them and understood as to what the problems were and they she relaunched it and that communication went to the customers and then she saw that you know there there was a growth as well so there was a problem she worked on the feedback and you you see that then there was an improvement so uh, i am sure that these insights could actually help the decision maker uh, uh, re uh, launch the product and maybe they will see uh, this translate to sales again a good one okay. Good, yeah, good uh, so, project, Arushi. Yeah, good one. So the next question uh, uh, we'll go to uh, uh, Yarla okay. Gata Trinath. Trinath, yes. Hmm. Uh, Trinath, you are not. Uh, yeah, please. Yeah, you are not audible. Hello. Yes, yes. Sir, I have collected data from my college laundry, sir. Okay. Uh, it has a uh, number of pieces of clothes and uh, uh, person's room number okay yes i have so, received this question on email that hari he says that he has collected data from the laundry of his college hostel mm-hmm. the and what he has done is that it has the date room number name quantity you get the mm-hmm. point how many pants mm-hmm. how many shirts etc mm-hmm. the question is is this data good for the project so what is the business problem here so what is That's the pro- and then yeah 
that's what i'm not able to figure out sir what insights i could uh, get from this data could you uh, some... see it, uh, it is always the other way around uh, through uh, trinath okay so you must have the um, uh, business problem first and then try to collect the data for that business problem okay now you have data and then you are trying to fit a problem which may not be possible because for a business problem you at least have to have some performance related data it could be either sales it could be either number of volume that uh, they are trying to do or it could be profit whatever it is okay one thing i can from right from this data i can suggest is the amount of uh, laundry per washing machine or per laundry machine uh, that is being done is something that kind of an efficiency analysis is something you can do okay apart from that uh, with this available data i don't think you will not be, you will be able to do anything even to do that efficiency analysis you have to have a data for a longer period say a year or two only then you will be able to come up with certain valuable insight so i suggest you to try to collect data from a different source or if you can collect more data such as um, uh, the price for each of the product like shirt how much pant how much yes, sir, they, i have that uh, it's, oh you have that you, you have that, that data also sorry sorry yes, sir i have the price price data you not you are not audible you not you are not audible yeah okay Hello? if you have price data what i can suggest you is see if uh, the laundry making uh, laundry endeavor is profitable okay if it is not profitable see uh, how you can improve the profit or if it is profitable but the margin is less see if you can increase the margin okay so that is like uh, using the laundry for a longer period of time efficiently uh, or reducing the uh, time uh, taken for the laundry uh, guy to uh, return the uh, uh, shirt or I mean clothes back to the owner so what's the turnaround time if the turnaround time is 2 days or 3 days can you reduce to 1 day or two days whatever it is so these are some things that you can look into as a business problem all right so, sir i can get uh, this data sir like uh, price data yeah. and uh, and some other data but they are not part of raw data sir sorry I just uh, like price data is fixed for pieces sir like uh-huh. sheets it's it's 10 rupees and uh, for other pieces it's 5 rupees so uh-huh. this data is not visible on the raw data it is it is fine or not okay hmm and some other things like he bought a new washing mm. machines to in, uh, increase mm. the efficiency mm. so how, how how it turns out to be i, I can do these things but it's not visible on uh, raw data so i have to do, do it manually so yeah yeah, yeah. see usually that is what happens uh, trinath okay you don't get all the data whatever you need to for to solve a business problem okay sometimes you may have to use the raw data crunch it and make it in a sizable so sizable uh, 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 the thing format and then try to uh, do an analysis sometimes you may have to collect external uh, data from different sources to arrive at uh, a solution to the business problem all those things now you have raw data only for the uh, uh, the clothes which is being laundered now you just try to find out uh, uh, the price for it and try to find out the cost associated with each of these uh, uh, activities okay and if you can see some profitability margin if you can also collect some data regarding turnaround time of laundry uh, for each of the uh, types of clothes and then I mean that could actually add more value to that uh, uh, laundry service fellow okay yes sir thank you sir okay. yeah sure rakesh Uh, hello sir uh, am i audible yes rakesh yes uh, i am al- analyzing a uh, medical store data mm. so uh, the, uh, the the store they have uh, like one room as a clinic and doctor uh, doctors come to their uh, clinic every week like um, it is their business mm. so uh, so uh, i just uh, managed uh, managed to convince uh, the shop owner to give me one month uh, of sales data like mm-hmm. first i told him to give me one year data but uh, he didn't give me mm-hmm. uh, i just uh, today i got uh, one month uh, data so what type of uh, questions uh, i can uh, like analyze uh, from here again rakesh you will have to first figure out what the business problem is and then try to collect the data 
you guys are doing it the other way around where you are trying yeah. to collect the data and then trying to fit a business problem to it most of the time it won't work rakesh first thing uh, this is for everybody not just for rakesh uh, whenever you are approaching some company asking them i i would like to help you with some my small consulting assignment as a part of my capstone project you tell you ask them what their pain point is what is that they want as a problem to be solved correct okay based on that problem try to collect data only then they will be more than interested to give you data so that you are going to suggest them something okay uh, instead if you keep asking give me data i'll try to do analysis that's not really going to yeah, that is it. actually you know uh, you're just doing the analysis it is not mm. going to give you any insights as such if you if you look mm. at uh, the video where we and me and hari mm. did so the problem with the sweet shop there was that they were complaining to us that dokla mm. was not moving on certain days where on certain mm. days it was going you mm. get the point so you have to identify and ask them what their pain points are and then you know uh, kind of collect data and do the analysis otherwise it would be just collecting and analyzing data where there will be no insights at all so that is what he means by a problem first go and ask mm. them what their pain point is what are the problems you are facing and what have you been doing to solve this and then you know uh, you could always you know once you get the data then you do an analysis otherwise you are going to just describe thing as it is you are not solving any problem so it is all about solving a problem identifying the pain point and solving the problem rather than just reporting things as is okay okay sir uh, got it uh, but uh, sir one thing uh, uh, first i uh, went to two stores Uh, and uh, talk to them actually uh, to tell the truth the uh, here, here the people are not uh, like much uh, aware about it and uh, like uh, they have uh, the mentality like uh, our business is uh, going whatever uh, it is uh, we do not need any uh, like consultancy or like that so uh, like they are not uh, they, they are just yeah, like if they are, if they are not their, comfortable uh, rakesh then you know the best thing is to ch- search for somebody else because if they don't want to reveal or if they feel that they don't want anything you can always because you are not dependent on one right you have to i mean keep speaking to uh, many and let me say that you reach out to somebody it is not essential that uh, they give you the data they may not give you the data as well so um, you will have to convince more you will have to speak to more people try to understand from them if not this shop try to go to the next and try to understand what is happening uh, when you do 3 4 then something like one will click so that is what happens when me and hari did we also kind of spoke to many people but there were only a few who were kind of interested you were ready to give them data yes that is so identify thing. those who the second are, thing uh, is the, the moment you ask what is your business problem which is very very uh, essential for you to solve and if you say that i am going to i am willing to support you in that most probably they are going to say yes to it okay so if they are not then okay fine <laughs> you can always find somebody else who will be interested in doing that okay okay sir got it thank you sir actually uh, first two store didn't give data but uh, this medical store gave me so that's why I, yeah you asked uh, that medical store okay, fellow okay. also i will ask them to... yeah yes yes so uh, you you tell me what your major problem is i will try to solve that using data yeah if you convince him like that you will essentially uh, in fact he will be willing to share the data yeah. in fact medical store is one where the profit margin is very very high uh, um, they almost have a 50% margin on most of their items 50% mm. is the margin on most of the items which they tend to sell more there are certain uh, products uh, medicines where the margin is bit less but typically they offer with a very high profit margin so they may want to discard or drop certain products which has a low low profit margin try to identify all that yeah. that is when you know it will kind of give you more insights they, they may also face one acute stock out problem yes okay you can identify the products which are fast moving and mm-hmm. uh, ab- about the inventory replenishment inventory how long does it take maybe that could be one another in- interesting problem that you can work on rakesh anybody who is working in the medical store can think in this lines as well and you may also speak to some medical representatives also to get certain insights about this Hmm. a few medical reps uh, you know what is the trend what is happening things like that so that can also kind of give you more uh, yeah. insights we we request uh, you to see this as a business problem and try i mean put yourself into the shoes of a consultant and try to solve this problem okay so don't look this just as a capstone project maybe who knows uh, you can really give some insight which can change the tide for a company which uh, gave you the data so see, see it that way no okay okay thank you sir yeah sure thank you
Okay, yeah. the next question is by Sabit Sundarkar. Yeah. Yes, Sabit, go ahead. Good evening, sir. Yes. Uh, actually, I am trying to uh, analyze the data of a tribal company that uh, government of India, in that case, they have uh, less profit and huge uh, stock mm. over there. Yeah. But uh, when I get the data, uh, mm. in that data, they have the buying price and selling price. Mm. So based on that, uh, my conclusion is company is making profit. Mm. But what I understood, mm. uh, the data does not include the transportation mm. and other costing. Holding mm. charges, rent, mm. employee salary, mm. which ultimately, uh, the as per their data, they are losing. They are mm. not gaining any profit. Okay. Uh, so you so, can tell that. You can suggest that. See, the way in which you are trying to calculate the data and trying to calculate the profit itself. Or three. Sorry? <laughs> it's not <laughs> me. <laughs> It's Hari. Uh, uh, I, I, I don't know. There is uh, some crosstalk. I don't know. Somebody is speaking with their uh, mic on. Divyanshu, can you please uh, uh, put your, um, uh, mute yourself, please? Hello? Yeah. It's... No, could you unmute yourself? Uh, did... Divyanshu, could you unmute yourself? Because uh, there is a question by Sabha. Yeah, mute yourself, sorry. Mute yourself, please. Yeah. Bhagati. <laughs> unaware about this probably he's talking to someone uh, the, so the yes mm. so i think uh, we will mute him yeah okay go ahead Sabit. yeah in the same scenario i am just suggesting i'm trying to uh, make some uh, whether uh, they can give some uh, discount to increase their revenue but uh, the main mm. question is uh, I really do not have that holding cost and transportation cost, which is their major. And uh, for this, I have discussed with the team, but they uh, said that it is not feasible because every month, every year, transportation and location like Chhattisgarh and Maharashtra. Mm -hmm. So the transportation is always different. So they have a different team who decide the product cost. Mm -hmm. This is our buying cost and this is our product cost. And in every quarter, the same product price is varying. Mm. So in the meantime, when I do not have that exact pricing, I take the average price to calculate, mm. to calculate the profit. And for me, the company is making profit. So, uh, but uh, yeah. considering all the cost, including transportation, and everything. No, no, I do not. No, no, Hari, what he has done is he has only mm. considered one component. The remaining component, the company has not given him. So, with the components which he is kind of calculating, he is getting that the company is realizing profits. But in actually, the in actual, the company is not making profits because there are other costs like transportation yes. costs, employee yes, labor, like, and all that. that can you fine. can you can you get that data as well? No, not exactly because uh, like for uh, e-commerce portion, Amazon for different product, they have di different uh, uh, charges. For some uh, garments, they are charging 30%. For painting, they are charging 10 to 20%. So this is varying. Uh, they have around eight different category, mm. total, all total. So based on that, uh, the deal discount is different and they are not going to disclose that with me right now uh that is fine uh, sabit i think you can just one whatever you have you kind of do it and you send it to me uh once okay. you finish you send you share it with me let me have a look and then i'll be able to tell you better okay. uh, we can, uh, uh, yeah you once you uh, once you do your uh, excel and you do some preliminary analysis please I send me done, your... I, I have done that but i am just yeah. for I, I am just working on the discount portion, which product yeah. which no, will take you, once, two to three. Once you do everything, once you do everything, you share your sheet. Maybe after March 2nd or March 3rd, you share me your sheet. Okay, I Let sir. me have a look and then I'll get back to you. So that would be easier uh, for us as well. Okay, fine. Fine, okay. fine sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the next question fine. is by Rajesh uh, Saha. Yeah. Am I audible? Yes. Yes, you are. Okay. So uh, the kind of data I've got 
that those are um, mostly unstructured so i got some data in excel some data in uh, word document uh, some pdf something like that so that's i got the form and also in the excel sheet uh, data is not uh, kind of uh, some kind of uh, formatting is not consistent the data is consistent but the formatting is not consistent for example abcd limited uh, the customer name is say abcd limited in some cases they have written abcd limited in some cases they have limited abcd private limited in some cases uh, abcd private within parentheses something like that mm. now when i am messaging the data in excel sheet i am it's very difficult to use any excel function for that because that the formatting is not consistent so that's why i am doing some manual work on so is the is that okay so can i do that manual work on that or is it expected that all is have to do some excel function only you can do manual work no problem uh, but make sure whatever data that you have you okay, try to put it put it in a very uh, uh, fashion it is understandable for you and you will be able to do some analysis on that right yeah to some extent i can do that excel function but thing not complete loose so sir okay and another question is not related yes. to this out of just a curiosity uh, we have business analytics course also after, after this thing so yes. there also we have to uh, get some kind of uh, analytics kind of data that is there also that course. sorry uh, uh, sorry i i'm not i'm not sure i, I don't i'm not getting oh. the question yeah so currently we are working on the business data management this course yeah so there is another course which is business analytics So okay which i have not taken yet but uh, it will uh, i have to take so in that business analytics course also we have to collect kind of data so that the way we are doing for bdm not that i am aware of but i am not sure i am not competent to answer that question yeah, sure. okay. i mean yeah. we will limit this to uh, bdm only okay, okay the next okay. question just because we have Thank six you. more hands uh, so the next question is by uh, param and after that it will be kaushik param kaushik yogendra and then uh, pooja so this would be the order oh, sorry param kaushik yeah. uh, yogendra madhuri and then pooja yeah please. pooja and manohar uh, there is manohar also yeah, no? yeah so we are we are following this first come first serve so i have made a note of those of raised hands so mm. we are following that pattern yes please uh, yeah param, good evening sir so uh, yes, yes. Uh, i have managed to collect some data from a company that is mm. producing a uh, Uh, spare like uh, precision parts but uh, they are not uh, common that are in market like they are they make it uh, according to uh, requirements sort of uh, which are non standard okay make to make to order uh, yeah like the non standard parts like the standard parts usually happen in bulk and they are very uh, uh, le- of less cost but uh, the company which i went to uh they make it on uh, like the custom uh, sizes and etc which are non standard in market so in that case uh, the data which i have got uh, is is like multi- is varying a lot uh, so what i uh, was thinking was I, i'll make broad categories of uh, uh, the usual data like uh, they have multiple sizes of u bolts so i was thinking of combining into one u bolt uh, uh, so that i can analyze it better so is that a good param, thing to do param again yeah. what is the business problem what is the business problem so uh, i want to look after uh, like what kind of uh, what kind of material uh, mm-hmm. they need they, they need to uh, sell more to gain more profit and what is the demand uh, even though it is a, a non standard production I, i want to find out what is providing them most profit and most uh, uh, w- the most product which is in demand so that the prices can be changed according so you wanted to find uh, uh, it's like if you remember uh, the uh, uh, week 7 data in x axis mm-hmm. you will have volumes and y axis you have price you yeah. wanted to find out uh, a, a, a matrix uh, i mean the product which is there high high margin and high mm-hmm. uh, volumes yeah product, yeah something like yeah. that yeah 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 sort of yeah yeah you can do that Okay, okay, you, you just can do the, that. Just the doubt I had was, uh, since they have like U bolt eight by four, uh, U bolt three by two, there are multiple uh, sizes available. It depends. The margin also changes, no, for each of the product. Uh-huh. So essentially, we'll have to consider them as a separate product. Okay, sir. Okay, I'll do. Okay. That. Yeah. Okay. Because Thank your analysis you. is related to margin, yeah. not with related to yeah. So therefore, you necessarily have to do that. And uh, so while a submission of the data, the data yeah. should be the original form, right? Sorry. Uh, Sorry. If I if I am changing a few things to get the uh, to get the charts and etc. So 
while submitting the data uh, of the while the when the project is submitted i'll have to submit the data in the uh, collected form and uh, the uh, way no, i have uh, manipulated excel sheet, it excel sheet for you would be keeping it with you you will only okay. be showing the main analysis in the excel so, yeah. so in the just in case excel. we need to look at the excel sheet we'll yeah. ask you to do that so otherwise we definitely don't. we'll ask you to show the excel sheet as to how you have collected the data because that we just want to check hmm. the authenticity of that and things like that so okay. your excel will be with you but that is for us to check later but in yeah. the presentation as i have told you only five slides and uh, i have also told you what should be there in the document okay yeah, the next yeah. question thank you sir yeah the next question please please follow the order which i did mention yes next question sabit if your question is over please raise down your hands please yeah sabit sorry put your hands down yeah this is kaushik can you hear me yes yes kaushik yes uh so my question is uh, do we have a, a presentation format that we have to follow uh, have you shared that yes that uh, has been shared always yes i i did share it in the discourse uh, it is shared in the discourse it is they present in the supplementary content of the the thing you can go and check it yeah and there i have a last 10 presentations which is put there yes, yes. do have a look at that and in the last week in the discourse i did mention it should be five slides and uh, what mm. should also be there is what i mentioned so that i think you have to check the discourse Okay, uh, and uh, I have some unstructured data which I am uh, putting it into an Excel for my uh, analysis. So uh, the data that I am getting is in the form of WhatsApp images from the shopkeeper. So and then that I am converting it into Excel data. So is that like uh, that is fine, right? As long as you have everything in Excel, that should be fine. As long as you can do analysis. uh with the data whatever data you collected put it in the excel form and that data solves the business problem it is fine yeah so uh, again i would like to iterate that i would iterate that you know uh, most of you are just collecting the data and doing the analysis that is not what we are looking for we want you to address clearly as to what the problem is and then for that problem you should collect the data if you have just collected the data and you are just presenting it as is it doesn't serve the purpose so uh, you know yes. that is something please keep it in mind yeah uh, i i uh, can we have multiple uh, problems that you are trying to solve you know sort of like not only looking at you can you can okay but then okay. Uh, you know yeah that's fine no problem okay uh, the next one so it is yogendra yogendra uh, good evening sir uh, yes sir i am collecting the data from the uh, chicken and the fast food shop and uh, my uh, problem statement is that uh, he has Uh, almost fifty items to sell. Fifty uh, means in the menu, fifty uh, items, and he wants to know uh, means uh, where he should focus on. Means he wants to reduce reduce up to twenty or twenty five. Uh, this is problem number one. And second one is he has recently started means uh, chicken was his earlier business, and two to three months back he has started the fast food corner, and the fast food. he has to hire a specialist person who who is skilled into the making of momos and the burger and the chow chow mein like that and he has to give him salary 15000 or he has to give him accommodation so uh, he wants to know uh, whether this uh, business is making profit or not is it uh, am i am i clear sir Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, see, the first problem statement is very clear. The second one is a little unclear for us. The first problem statement, as I can understand, is that you wanted to the shopkeeper or the fast food owner wants to reduce the number of items from fifty to whatever, okay, based on the profitability and based on the volume sales. Correct? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's a good problem. That's a very, very good problem to work on. Second problem, can you reiterate again? uh so recently he has mm -hmm. miss a uh, fast food business miss uh, okay. momos bur burger and the uh, that chow mein business okay, okay. he has entered into this business recently 3 months mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. and he he for this business he has to hire a specialist person who is mm -hmm. skilled into the uh, making mm -hmm. of the uh, mm -hmm. momos and burger yeah and he has to pay him salary and the accommodation mm -hmm. so he wants to know that whether this this part of the business is making profit or not or he should exit from this no no see 
uh, is he already selling it or is he not selling it? He is selling. He is selling. Then try to figure out. It's a it, it's a yeah, interesting. Then, then he has to. It's an interesting question. In fact, yeah. mm. it depends on different factors. You know, how many people patronize it? Who are his competitors nearby? How his business is running? What yeah, is the demand many, for yeah. these items? What yeah, profit thing, is making? Basic analysis also you you can do. How many burgers did he sell in the last one month? Yeah. Or how many chow mein? How many momos did he sell it? Yeah. Okay, what was the price of it, and what's the revenue from these products alone, which he wants us yeah. to look into, and look yeah. at the cost associated with that, like raw material cost, and then you have the labor cost, and you have a, a serving cost, and all those things put together. See if there is some margin, a substantial margin that he is trying to get. If that is so, he can do that. Or if he, if uh, it's patronized well, but it's not giving profit margin, then try to increase the price or try to. uh do something value added service uh, along with that particular products so that uh, people take it that's how we'll have to see okay yeah. the th- the thing is the idea is that the suggestion should not be to close down immediately that's not the idea yes. because as a business you would always want to grow isn't it so yes sir uh, yeah only if it does not make commercial sense any way in whatever way you try to work on if it's not making any commercial sense that is when you have to think about closing the business all right yes Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, so, I am collecting collecting red sales data of each each item on daily basis, mm-hmm. and he is sharing and he is sharing uh, whatever he is purchasing on the daily basis. So yeah, yeah, I am great. for yeah, the both selling yeah, and great. the purchase both both. Yeah, yeah, that is absolutely fine. So that that, that is absolutely fine. fine. Now you have all the data. You have just have to yeah. do that. Yeah, your problem is also clear. Your business problem is also clear. So okay. So the next question. Okay, is, thank you, sir. Uh, Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's follow the order. Uh, who it was next? Uh, Pooja or Madhuri? Madhuri. Madhuri. Yes. Uh, hello, yeah. sir. So yeah. basically, my problem is to uh, is is through a online online business store. Uh, mm-hmm. They sell on the Flipkart, and mm-hmm. I have collected the data. And the problem I was working on this uh, inventory management. Mm-hmm. So the thing is, the the way they used to manage the inventory is in Flipkart mm-hmm. also they have to put a inventory stock that okay this much unit they have for a particular mm-hmm. item. So mm-hmm. using that they used mm-hmm. to order. Mm-hmm. So now I have the sales data, I have the SKU data, but I don't have the opening stock data that how many stock do they have at present mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. on each day. So now uh, what I have done is I did a Pareto analysis and through that I. i have figured out what are the top selling skus and mm. uh, using the using the video lectures i have mm. calculated that okay this much unit they needed to need to have like this mm. is the average sales and because procurement time is 10 days so 60 unit at least they need to have for mm. like for a different item so what do i do next what can i do next like can you so you you said that uh, to avoid stock out situation this is the mm-hmm. number of units that they must have correct yes yes that's what you figured it out okay yes sir the next thing you can figure it out is i mean is the inventory holding cost increasing or decreasing for that man uh, for the uh, uh, supplier okay that is mm. something that you can look into okay so whether your suggestion is going to involve some cost in terms of uh, inventory holding or in terms of money mm. locked into the the thing therefore mm-hmm. uh, uh, some in loss of interest or whatever it is you are getting my point yes sir, yes, sir. you can do something like you that you can also look at the lead time mm-hmm. suppose uh, yes. uh, you know there is a stock out how much time does it take once she places he or she places an order mm-hmm. how much time does it take for that startup to get it because that Ten also comes days. right because let us say that there is a, it is there is a stock out and at the same point of time there are 10 or 15 orders then you know mm-hmm. uh, they lose that as well right that business mm-hmm. is lost so uh, that is also something which you can explore Yes. Yeah. Sir, uh, Ashwin, sir, I, I, I didn't understand your point. Could you please explain uh, more? The lead time. The lead time. That is. Uh, so even he is dependent on a supplier, right? The startup is also yes, kind yes. of dependent on the mm-hmm. supplier. So you can mm-hmm. also, if there is some information on the lead time. So once they place an order, how much time does it take for them to come? Mm-hmm. That is something also which you can look at. Yes, I looked at it. It takes ten time, ten days. That's why I mentioned ah, yeah, that yeah, the yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then, then it sells is six and. Yeah. Okay. Good, good. So I I was thinking that now when I have this information now can I like go back to them and ask them to give me daily data for now and I can see if my suggestions are working for them or not by calculating the average invent days of inventory. Yeah, you can do that. You you can do that. Yeah, that's a good way to go about it. You can yeah. do that. Okay. Also, look at if there is some sort of a seasonality. If you have 
uh say mm-hmm. some six month data or one year data then you can find mm-hmm. some seasonal patterns of one another seasonal patterns okay so that right. could actually help there are some places where there'll be sudden spike okay mm-hmm. if there's a sudden spike don't see mm-hmm. that as an abnormality see what event preceded that or what event yes. is going to come for example if if there is a big billion day flip card Uh, yes, no? yes. so at that point in time you might be having holding too many stocks whatever it is yes, yes, that yes. could be the reason you figure it out if the big billion yes. day is approaching uh, the, the 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 shop owner or how do i call him has uh, the uh, the sub vendor to hold more stock of whatever item mm-hmm. which he wants to sell you're getting my point right. so yes. think about that absolutely hmm? thank you yeah. thank you thank you so much yeah the next question i guess it was pooja pooja yeah. Uh, hello sir yeah okay so my yeah. business the business i have chosen uh, it's a retail store uh, it sells okay. ice creams and snacks mm-hmm. and uh, i have the data for purchase now the purchase is not happening regularly it is happening mm-hmm. jaise jaise stock khatam hota hai they purchase some they purchase the you know uh, extra things mm-hmm. and uh, i don't have a track for their sales because the guy doesn't mm-hmm. track it he he gets the he, he fills his inventory and then he sells it he doesn't mm-hmm. care about what's going out so i okay. am i am tracking it weekly like i go mm-hmm. to the shop and i i ask them what's the stock right now and mm-hmm. uh, the difference is what he sells mm-hmm. okay that is how i'm tracking uh, the sales that would be fine right yeah, yeah fine fine that is, that fine. is fine yeah yeah okay no also another yeah. question i had was uh, my my friend is not here in the meeting uh, she couldn't ask the question but uh, she is still figuring out what business to approach and she is thinking of uh, you know approaching a service uh, business it sells service they that won't be uh, the ideal business for this project right services no, it, are also it, good right services it's, are very it is also stuff. good see but the point is mm-hmm. again business problem what yeah. business problem does your friend wants to solve in that service industry that's the okay. first question that you will have to answer okay 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 thank you so, so much so even in the viva o say we will ask what is the business problem you want to yeah. solve okay so what is the biz- business problem and how are we planning to solve it yes okay Okay, that would be the highlight of the project. Yes, Thank yes. you so much, sir. Thank so you. So, if you if you look at Trinath, he was um, kind of mm. very clear on what the business problem was. Yeah. Uh, wherein he said that you know, um, mm. the shopkeeper wants to the hotel owner wants to know whether he has to drop down or whether mm. this thing he has to continue. So that is the problem. Correct. And then yeah. once you have a problem, you go about solving it. Data, okay. yes, collection starts post that, but business problem is something which you have to uh, kind of uh, attempt. Okay. So okay. That's okay. That. So, uh the next if i'm not wrong is siddhar then sachin and then we have jagdish if this is uh, the right yes. one yeah so yeah. pooja and uh, madhuri you can just if your questions are over you can please put down your hands and yes siddharth yeah sir uh, good evening uh, so mm-hmm. sir uh, i had a pro- sir, i had a sales collection data of a pains company so the main problem statement is is finding the revenue generation uh, mm-hmm. during a given period product wise and uh, the, uh, the main questions were asked on the diversification suggestions uh, based on products and other parameters um, the questions were asked on diversification to prevent the company from sudden shocks or sudden fall in revenue so the then they they want these diversification suggestions to be based on revenue um, so that uh, the okay, they want shock- to maximize revenue and at the same time they want to not to have one product giving them the most revenue it's like they want to spread their bucket it's yeah, a good sir. problem to work on it's a good problem to work on certainly yes yeah and sir as you could see sir i mean i have a one year data and mm-hmm. uh, they don't only want this diversification on a particular product for portfolio thing and uh, on a, they also wanted to find the employee productivity uh, say uh, so sales we have a clear trend sir these people they work on month end hmm. they don't work on first 15 days indian typical indian mindset attitude it's the government company that you are looking at <laughs> <laughs> so they work on month ends so they also ask the questions about employee productivity uh, hmm. is it following the same trend or something and uh, as you could see sir they sell to various uh, hardware shops and dealers and if hmm. a particular dealer he doesn't place any order na that that gives a sudden shock so they wanted to find out uh, they wanted to give suggestions on these kind of things so that their revenue doesn't fall abruptly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that's the problem as uh, okay? see the, the problem lies elsewhere <laughs> okay so the what is the time 
at which the retailer wants the I mean, if we if i consider the shop that you are going to consult is a distributor mm. okay so what is the uh, time at which a product is needed by the retailer the product uh, time at which the product is needed by wholesaler is not known mm. right so you'll have yes. to figure that out and if there is some mechanism to do that you'll have to find that is the suggestion you'll have to give you're getting my point mm. try to put some system in place where you try to get that data from the uh, the thing from the retailer and the wholesaler maybe his inventory about a particular product uh, mm. all those things okay and then look at if you're looking at diversification uh, are you going to do uh, diversify uh, to, for with the related product or are you going to go to a completely different product that is something that you'll have to answer okay mm. for example you are selling paint products okay so the diversification could be varnishes or diversification uh, could be painting services or blah 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 you're getting my point so that mm. way if you do it is like very closely and tightly integrated but if you are going mm. to sell bowls and fasteners and other things it it's not directly and tightly integrated so mm. now you'll have to figure out as to what you wanted to I mean, how you wanted to give them insight so that they accept your insight and then work on it yeah sir sure sure thank you sir yeah okay the next there are two more mm. questions and then with that we'll close it so uh, yes. sachin and uh, jagdish so uh, yeah that's it jagdish so we'll close sachin yeah, yeah jagdish and sachin any of you can go and yeah uh, hello sir yes uh, uh, sir i am working on a petrol pump data for a year Okay. and uh, while doing the sales analysis i made two pivot tables one on mm. unit sales and mm. one on the credit uh, outflow mm. uh, but the problem is that uh, uh, doing the parot analysis on both of them gives the uh, different clients uh, mm. for the third and fourth position when i asked the owner about it he told me that he actually gives uh, credit to the organized client but he doesn't keep the record of it so how to manage it in the excel uh you mean to say that he is selling to both organized client and the retail client petrol yes. bank, right so yeah. retail bank uh, uh, retail uh, people uh, when he is giving to the other uh, uh yeah sell uh, like bank and uh, um, police and uh, local administration also Okay. but uh, there he is selling it on credit uh, not mm-hmm. on direct so for the cash and pos uh, it is actually ma- mapping like they are mm-hmm. of the 80% of the sales but uh, on the third and fourth position it, there is a mismatch because okay but the- what is the business problem he wants to solve there uh so uh, like uh, out of uh, excluding the cash and the pos sales he mm-hmm. wants to see that how the organizational clients behave uh for the like uh, non covid part of the data like uh, after the lockdown part no, so no. behavior in the sense the... I, i am not getting you so the behavior uh, uh, and the sales how how are they related as uh, so like uh, how much uh, he is earning profit from them like which, uh, okay, which what is... is what is the profit see usually yeah. is the profit not the same because the distributor as such a petrol pump owner Gets around three point two one rupees per liter of petrol sold, isn't it? I mean, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. I, I just want to ask you. I actually you. need to confirm. Yeah, because it's quite the same with all the uh, thing. It's about the per liter of petrol or per liter of diesel. That's how it is actually calculated. What you can say is, uh, if you see what is the percentage sales to the organized uh, in the I mean organized uh, customers and unorganized customers. then maybe there is something that you can get into the second thing that you can look into is when is the money given by the organized customer say for example they take a credit so do they repay within a month or do they repay within 15 days or whatever it is if that duration is longer can you reduce it or whatever that is something that you can look into you are getting my point yeah uh, so so uh, while doing the pareto analysis Mm-hmm. if there is a mismatch between units and the credit uh, like cash inflow so is it okay mismatch in the sense uh so like on the third and fourth positions if there are c and d uh, clients like they have bought more units mm-hmm. but because they are on credit 
for this month so for this month uh, pareto it shows that uh, enf are actually paying more yeah, you you yeah, have to so, under, yeah. you will have to first see this as uh, what pareto if you are going to look at as sales pareto that is how much each of the customer is giving as sales to the per- petrol pump owner then there is not going to be any mismatch because you are going to just multiply it by the price okay, oh, okay. So whether you received the cash or do not receive the cash that's not a, uh, a problem you are getting my yeah. point conversely you can also look at those who are not paying cash and say that these are the ones who are not doing it these are the salient ones <laughs> so that is also something which you can always point out and tell to them that yes they have been buying but these are the ones who are not paying as well so that is mm-hmm. also one more set of insights Yes. Okay. Uh, so the one more problem uh, was there. Like uh, he also asked me to show that how the COVID lockdown impacted him. But uh, the problem is there. I don't have the pre-lockdown data. So can the post-lockdown data can be used to compare? Yeah, it yeah, yeah. It. So if you have data for three months, okay, post-lockdown, uh, then you just yes. check it. No, you can actually do that when the full lock. I mean, from uh, which one? By fifteenth of January, everything is open. Data. Yeah. from march 2020 to 2021 yeah that is the covid uh, period data okay hello yeah yeah hello yeah. sir and then from march 2021 to uh, january 21 that is also second wave of covid and after that the lockdown is completely eased from jan correct if i am not wrong yeah yes okay sir. now you will have to see uh, you have you have only one one month data Okay, so essentially, you can only compare that one month with other two years. Yeah. So uh, will it be like fine for the sis? Uh, yeah, that is fine. Point? That is fine. But if it is fine for the other person, I'm not sure. Okay, for the petrol pump yeah. owner, is it fine? If he really wants some good data, I mean, if he wants some good analysis, he has to give pre-COVID data like 2018, uh, 98 data. Only then uh, there'll be of some use to you, uh, him. We are okay yeah. with it. As uh, for capstone project, this is fine. But uh, yeah, yeah. One one final question by Jagdish, uh-huh. and then we'll have to close it. Yes, sir. Thank you. And yeah, and see, uh, uh, one thing which I would like to uh, again point out is that please don't collect data from Kaggle open source data forums and all that. That is not primary data collection. By primary data, we mean that you would uh, go to a business. Um, you would be collecting data from a business. You would speak to them, identify what their problems, and then collect their data. If you are collecting it from an open source data forum and you, we find it out later, then it will be awarded zero because then it is not a capstone project. Okay, so we have clearly uh, we have clarified it at the very beginning that capstone project is primary data collection. That is, you are going to collect data on your own. You are going to speak to the people, and that is how you are going to do that. So please don't do the mistake of. uh taking it from kaggle because it is absolutely going to make no sense out of it okay so last question by jagdish and then we'll close it yes sir, good evening sir good evening good evening uh sir i have collected the sales data of uh, uh, manufacturer of solar panel uh he he gave the financial year from 18 to 21 he gave for three years he gave data and i couldn't able to access the Inventory data or uh, production all those able to so about uh, six months he didn't do anything. I'm uh, waiting for he he was waiting working cap. So my business was wrong and uh, why the business why the manufacturer able to do the thing. So what I did is like first the uh, sales data I've classified the customer into four segments. That is like. the one who jagdish jagdish before before even continuing the, the question uh, jagdish hold on for a minute um before even continuing the question yeah. what is the business problem yeah. you want to solve uh what went wrong so that he jagdish you are not audible uh, maybe you can even email it to me um so please email us with your business question business problem and maybe because you are not audible uh, send it send an email to me and i'll take it from there yes sejal uh, one final question uh sir i had a doubt related to the graded assignment 3 mm-hmm. okay so i was solving question number 5 uh, which uh, involved uh, the unit margin percentage Mm-hmm. which gear assembly returned the highest unit margin percentage so what i observed in the sheet is that according to the quarter also gear assembly and fiscal year and also the quarter 
prices are varying sorry one minute let me have a look at that question which question you are talking about question number 5 one minute which set um set 4 I did the look up on two conditions, but uh, like then yeah. I saw the third one also. But uh, in the cost yeah. sheet, there is no uh, there is no uh, column for quarter. So how will I think? One minute. One uh, minute. One minute. One minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Mm -hmm. So the question is, which gear assembly or assemblies saw a dip in the unit margin in 2021? Correct. Um, Sixth no, question. it's fifth one, sir. Fifth highest one. Highest unit which margin. Which gear returned the highest unit margin? Okay, yes. so it could be uh, for any. I mean, here it is very clear. Gear assembly uh, three in 2021-22. Or four in twenty twenty one, something like that. There are four options given to you. Yes, right? yes. Sir. Okay, so it is not for quarter; it is for the year. Yes, right, sir. But uh, uh, what I did, I did look upon these two things: gear assembly and fiscal year, for to calculate the price and uh, to calculate the difference. I needed the price in the cost sheet. You have uh, the price. Do you have the price? Yes, I got the price okay. based on two and columns. And you have the uh, all you have all the cost that is required to calculate uh, the overall product cost. Yes, I do. But uh, what I found in the uh, uh, sheet where price is mentioned that according to quarters, also in in a fiscal year and in uh, multiple quarters, the price is varying. Sorry. In in uh, one uh, fiscal year and in multiple one minute, quarters. Let me, let me open it. Uh, can you give me an example? Mm. Uh, just a minute, sir. I'll check. Yeah. So, the um, in uh, gear assembly one, uh, sir, this is the twelfth row, twelfth and thirteenth uh, row. I am seeing in the mm. set four sheet. So, uh, it's gear assembly one fiscal year twenty nineteen to twenty, and uh, month is Feb twenty, and the uh, next month, column fiscal, is March twenty. Fiscal year is twenty nineteen twenty. Okay. Yes, uh, the then, months for twelfth and thirteenth row are uh, Feb and March. Yes. And the price is four sixty two and zero. Yeah, that means there is no sales that happened in the month of March. Okay, so essentially you have to take four sixty two as the the thing. You're getting my point. Okay, okay, the right. The sales volume is zero, no. Uh, why? Why is uh, price column zero then? Price is price is four sixty two only. It can be the four sixty two, but the idea is if there is no sales, obviously there is no point in having price there. Correct. Yes, I get that, okay, sir. Okay, okay. okay. So the uh, condition, the two conditions will work: fiscal year and yes, of that gear yes. assembly. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, sir, uh, I have a small uh, suggestion yeah, yeah. Please, regarding yes. the capstone project. May I? Yes. Yes, please. Yogendra, uh, is it Yogendra? Yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, sir, can we uh, use uh, Google Sites for this capstone project? Uh, and uh, we can divide this uh, days of thirty to forty days in the uh, weeks, number of weeks. And in week one, we have. to submit our the business problem statement like many of us are and many of the uh, other students are facing that they are not knowing the business problem and at the when we uh, define in week 1 itself and we have to submit into the that uh, to the in the that uh, google sites and we can uh, prepare our data in that and uh, we can prepare the dashboard also and on the weekly basis uh, we can update refresh it and that will be oh, visible you wanted to have a great okay. evaluation of capstone project first for business problem then uh, for collecting data and then for analysis something like that correct mm -hmm. you wanted yes, to make sure that whatever data you are collecting whatever business problem that you have is correct that's what you yes. wanted us to help you in ensuring that correct 
sir it will help to i think it will help to a lot of students correct, correct. Will, yeah, i agree that, so this is a good suggestion we will not be able to implement at this particular session this particular yes, for the next session also for the next next definitely yeah, we will take this and, and sir, one of the challenges that uh, hmm. as a um, uh, uh, hmm. miss that authenticity data so once we we will uh, submit into the google sites then you can also check that whether we have when we have updated that sheet so no, that will be so the, what the question of plagiarism will not come because we always uh, kind of probe students so sometimes what happens is that uh, you know people have taken the same thing and they would have done it so we'll be able to identify it very quickly because once your exams are also done either me or hari we sit and have a look at all the presentations very quickly in the next two days and we make a note of each and everything wherever we see that there is a overlap we kind of you know figure it out we have, we have done it in the assignments as well last yeah, time yeah see and anyways all your out. presentations are there in the repository Yes. All right. So there is always going to be a turn it and yeah. check that will be done. Turn it that. and check. That is why we said that you know whatever you give, it will be run on a plagiarism software. So we get to know where the similarities. Who has kind of you know given us similar yeah. things. It But we always don't prefer to do that moral policing yeah. because yeah. we we see this as a fun exercise. You know, wherein you yeah. can learn and it is not just about the marks. You just uh, uh, so please uh, think it Ultimately, that way. Ultimately, thinking can be done in different ways. But then. Uh, you don't learn out of it so ultimately yes. the objective of this capstone project is to mm -hmm. make your hands dirty and learn from this particular activity but in then yes. if the students want to cheat then you know nothing can be done because there are n plus 1 ways to do that uh, yeah. but that so, is not so i am sure that you can use this capstone project as your uh, i mean uh, as a talking point in your interviews correct okay so essentially it will give so much uh, uh, confidence for you to speak about all these things in fact we showed some of these capstone project to the industry people they were thoroughly impressed okay they really like the way in which analysis were done some of the yeah. uh, some of the projects we had actually put it in the uh, yeah. uh, the uh, and uh, one more announcement yes. is that you know uh, those who will be doing well we'll be selecting again the top 15 capstone projects and we'll also mm -hmm. be uh, you know showcasing it like the last your your seniors they did it live you will also have an opportunity to, to do it live plus this time the top 50 evaluations we will uh, out of 880 top 50 will be chosen and you will get an opportunity to present to the industry people that means that you i mean you kind of get an opportunity to impress and you never know what happens post that right so um so this is something which i would like to say in the end so think about it do it seriously and i'm sure it would be a good learning so it's uh, we are overshot by 20 minutes and mm. uh, uh, sunday so uh, yes um so it's done <laughs> so uh, anyways if uh, any other other session is needed next week uh, please let us know mm. i'll again uh, check in the group uh, mm. we'll be happy to host one more if you have any doubts further uh, maybe in the next week or something like that so that i'll check So with yeah. this, uh, 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 yeah. Jaimini, course instructor Jaimini also joined. So we did mm. not give any time for Jaimini to yes. speak in yes. this particular. Uh, this yes. yes. Maybe whatever doubt you have regarding assignment four, which I think would be already released, would have already been released. Okay, you can ask next week with Jaimini. Yeah. So uh, that's right. Okay. So we do have uh, time constraints and things like that. So we'll also, uh, if if needed, one more session on the capstone. We can still have where you can discuss further. So 25th is the deadline. So inform your friends. Uh, we will not be able to extend beyond uh, 25th of March. So uh, with this, we'll end this session. And uh, thank you, and have a good weekend. Sure. Yeah. Thanks good. a lot. Thank you, so, sir. Yeah. Bye. Take care. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you very much. Both of you gave. Sorry. The energy of both of you gives us to give, put more efforts. Yeah. So thank you, thank you. Very we 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 expect that. So we do. I mean, we want you guys to learn a lot and then uh, implement and uh, use this whatever you learn here in your life and career. So that's something that we wanted. So we're happy to see the kind of questions that you guys are actually asking. It is making us uh, do more, which is very good. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. And I, I'm I'm sure that you guys will do better than your seniors when it comes to yes, the, yes. The so on. Um, and whenever you have doubts no do have a look at all the videos so that you know once you have a look at the videos you get some more insights you can in fact do better than them you can even question yourself when you're doing it no ask yourself you know whether you're doing the right thing is there any way you can improve it uh, that is how you kind of improve and work on it so with this we'll conclude today's session it's sir uh, just uh, one thing sir uh, okay for initial data collection the excel Mm -hmm. It's a big Excel file and lot of things. So I write a small program in uh, that I learned in this time in uh, Linux. 
the sticks mm. editing i applied okay. that and convert that and changes my, in my way and back to the excel that part yes, can i write into the presentation yeah yeah you can you can always write you can good, always very write. good very, very good. good very good anything which you so, do extra is always good yeah but make sure that that is related to your business problem again no no it is a business problem yeah. but to solve that i have collect lot of very excel good, file good. and that is very why good, i took very this good. step very good then fantastic okay, okay. Okay, sir. Good. And about that question nine, uh, Naharajan uh, sir uh, actually had a, uh, put a, a, a question on the discourse just now. He wanted us to relook at uh, question number nine of assignment three. Okay, we will have a look at it and see what can be done. All right. So we'll get back to you on the discourse. Yeah, we will get back to you on the discourse. Okay, guys. Okay, it's guys. Late for so thirty okay. minutes. Okay. okay. Good night and have a very Bye. fruitful week ahead. Thank you very much. Good night. Good, night. Good, night. Good night. Thank you, sir. Good night. Thank you, sir. Good night. Good night. No problem. Thank you. Lender, come here, Lada. हम लोग एग्जाम कब खत्म हो रहा है रे? चार को. No. गजब पागल है भाई. Thank <laughs> you. 